For 9 November, we were located at an outpost called Ranch House above the village of Aranis. In August of 2007, there was a pretty significant attack there where we were almost overran by enemy forces. So, you know, based on senior leadership's decisions, we closed down that base in late September. We relocated to Camp Blessing, which was our company headquarters, for about a month. And then we moved out to Bella about the first week of November. So I'd been there at Bella for about a week or so before we were getting this mission to go back to the village of Aranis. The village elders there invited us to a sure meeting is what it's called. And so that's basically like, you know, a city council meeting. And so what we like to do is attend these sure meetings, engage with the locals and address their needs, kind of see if there's any way the U.S. forces can help them and try to build some sort of cooperative relationship, trying to help, you know, Afghanistan stabilize itself. So we got the mission to go there. We planned to leave on uh, November 8th. We were going to walk through the night and stay at the schoolhouse in Aranis where U.S. forces actually built for that village. So we hoped to, you know, kind of get an education program going there. You know, that never quite took root with the local population. The trail that it takes to, you know, go from Bella to Aranis, the unit before us had sustained some casualties on that route because it's pretty vulnerable to attacks because it's a lot of high ground that we can't cover when we're moving. It's uh, big enough for a small pickup truck to get through, but they have a lot of washouts from the weather, so it's, it's very unpredictable.